Oh, yeah, that's got to gotta represent Middletown. Yeah. Did they win the first round? They didn't make it to the first round. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's got to represent. Yeah. They didn't lose, man. <laughs> they didn't lose, that is true. Hey, Jill, I, I keep uh, I was asking Coach Meyer today and some other guys, um, do they, does he feel like you're due for a breakout game? <laughs> you know, and you're getting really close with punt returns and stuff. Do you, do you feel like that, too, that you're uh, – on the cusp of something kind of big? Yeah, I think I, you know, can keep uh, being consistent in making plays, you know, big plays for the team, you know, to get the team, you know, uh, moving a little better. If, if we're struggling a little bit, I feel like I can be that guy to, to make a play, you know, and, and turn up the tempo a little bit. Mm -hmm. And something I'm on the, oh, I was going to ask you, what, when you're see, eyeballing a punt coming uh -huh. down, coming down, what is going through your mind? Well, now that I, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable than I was last year, I just uh, really I make sure the ball is you know where I can catch it and uh, far enough away from the punt team so I mm -hmm. don't get hit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I just really just look where I can go until the ball gets to me, and then I look up and catch it and run where I can get. Do you <clears throat> do you see things even as you're catching it? Or are you picking up glimpses of guys of yeah, what's coming at you? That's what I mean by that. I just I, I look up and I look down. Yeah. I, I mostly look down. You know, to see where everybody's coming from, and then at the last minute, I look up right when the ball is coming right there and catch it. When did you know you had that ability to, in essence, play center field like that? Right. I mean, to, to play the punt's one of the toughest. Was it catching a punt's one of the toughest things in sport? When did you realize you had the ability to kind of do that and almost coolly, nonchalantly? Uh -huh. I mean, I just kind of had to, you know, practice. This is all about practice. You know, we practice hard at that now. You know, it, it made me better as a punt returner, and I just had to get comfortable too. Mm -hmm. You know, the more comfortable you are back right there, you know, the better you can be. I feel, and so you know, the more comfortable I am, the better I can be. Hey, Jalen, in the preseason, what when? Uh, what kind of plays was Noah Brown making? Mm -hmm. I mean, how big of a loss? I mean, it, it seemed like. You yeah, it's a huge loss, but like, was he just doing things in practice that were like unbelievable to everybody? I mean, what was he doing? Oh, uh, he was just, you know, he was he was one of the more consistent receivers that we had in, in the preseason and in the summer camp. Uh, he made uh, play big plays every day. You know, he made the, the plays that made uh, made him definitely one of the top receivers that we would have had coming into this year. You know, so losing him, we had to you know rebuild and find that other playmaker that was going to replace him. You know what I mean? You had. And that's, that's a hard thing to do once you have, you know, the playmakers that you you solidify, like Mike, you know, Braxton, and things like that. Then you have Noah. He had he had found his role, and he got, got hurt, and he had to be replaced. So that was a hard thing for us to do. You guys How big are calling this thing. This season, Ben Taylor. Yeah. Coach yeah. talked again about embracing the grind. Is right. there any fun in this? I mean, oh, it's definitely fun. You know, I have fun every day. You know, with with the guys, we have fun with each other. You know, but when we go out there and practice, it's always a grind. You know, we, we want to get better each and every day. You know, we want to win a championship in November, and that's what we grind for. So, yeah, it's definitely a grind, but it's, it's definitely all fun. What is that balance like? The payoff is, yeah. is game day. Well, right now, there's really no balance. You know, it's football season. So, you know, we want to take care of the football things and, of course, academics. But, you know, it is football season, and we do grind for football season and to make it happen. What makes it a grind on the practice field? Is it just go, go, go? What What is it about the actual practice that is the grind? It's probably, you know, we do just go, go, go all the time. And uh, we just, he, he he wants us to be, you know, the best team in the country. So we practice like we, we you know, we want to be, and we want to be that too. So, you know, when we get that through our heads and we practice like that. That's why it's so much of a grind. Jim, sure. what, do you, what do you expect from JT this week? I mean, uh, obviously he talked to the team, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all last week and stuff like that. But what, what, what do you – what do you anticipate his return is going to mean, I guess, to this football team, the offense in particular? I think, you know, it's going to be a good thing. Like, I, I feel like, you know, he's proven himself you know, to be a you know, great player every time he steps out there on the field. So, you know, we're looking forward to having him back in, 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 uh, with the offense and with the team. This is the grind. Last year was the chase. Any right. difference in the, in the mentality and the attitude? Uh, was, the this year, I think we just have more of a target on our back just because of, you know, we did win the championship last year. and. You know, people were trying to beat us each and every week. So I feel like this this year is is, is hard each and every week just because of that target we do have on our backs. You mentioned uh, winning championships in November, and I know Coach Meyer always talks about that. I mean, calendar's flipping, and there's right. three games left in this regular season. Does it feel different around here, or what's it? You know, what is there a difference? Does it feel more serious at practice? What is it like uh, around this time of year when you only got three games? Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely more serious. He, uh, you can definitely tell 
those guys that you know that take it more serious than those who don't. Uh, and I think it's a big it's a big thing of what we do here and how we train. We train for championships in November, like you said, and it's come down to that right now. So it's it's it, it gets more fun to me, I think, just because of this is what we live for. You trailing up. What you mentioned it? what's going through your mind this year now that you're more comfortable with punt returns. What was going through your mind last year when you were out there returning punts? I just wanted to catch the ball. <laughs> that was the biggest thing, just catching the ball. And I think, you know, with me not being comfortable catching the ball, it made it, you know, nervous for me and obviously nervous for all the fans. So I felt like, you know, with me being more comfortable, everybody can be more comfortable. We can all relax. So earlier today, uh, <laughs> Coach Meyer called you the best blocker on the team. Uh -huh. uh, what's changed from last year? Uh, I think you know, Evan Spencer left. That's the big change. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, learned, I, learned, I learned a lot from him, and uh, you know, I just wanted to go out there and contribute to the team as much as I can. As, as I can. What yeah. was it like going without a uh, JT Barrett pregame prep pep talk last week? Because mm -hmm. that was the first time in a long time he'd gone without speaking to the yeah. offense before the game, correct? Yeah. Uh, I, yes, I think so. Uh, he said a couple words to us, but he also did come and speak to us at halftime. So he was, I mean, he was with us and was around us and, and kept giving us encouragement. And, um, I think that, you know, it was a good thing that he was there just because, it, you know, he is that leader, <coughs> excuse me, of the offense and he helps us get, gets us rolling. Who spoke before the game in his absence? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure because I was in the bathroom. Okay. Jalen, you go from <laughs> not starting the first, or not playing the first game uh -huh. to Coach Mario Clark, you're one of the leaders of the team. What's the tra transformation in yourself? How, have you gone from that to where you are right now? I just think, you know, the team, you know, means more to me than myself at this point just because, you know, winning, like winning to me is, is important, especially for the guy, how hard we work and, you know, for all the guys that come in here every day, you know, so, you know, you put the team above yourself and, you, you know, you do those little things you know, to help the team be, be as best as possible. Who helped you in that process? Did you talk to some of the players? Some players give you yeah, advice? It was, it was some leaders on our team, you know, you had Josh Perry, Taylor Decker, you know, Braxton Miller, those guys, you know, they, they, they helped me push through it and then just tell me, you know, pick everybody up and bring them with you and we can be a great team. You went from quarterback to, uh, re to hybrid back to receiver. Uh -huh. How is Braxton doing in that transition from your from your expert uh, judgment? Oh, he's doing great. He's doing great. He's doing way better than I, you know, I expected. Yeah, he's, he's making unbelievable strides each and every weekend. And I think you can tell that, you know, whenever he, he has the ball or the ball is thrown in his direction, it's always a hold of breath because you never know what's going to happen. So, you know, Braxton is Braxton, and he always will be. Uh, How tough is that transition? There's somebody that's gone to be going from quarterback to H back to wide receiver. How uh, tough is that transition to go from one to the other to the other in a couple of years? It, it's just kind of tough just because, of, like I said before, you just don't have the ball in your hands every play. You know, but, you know, once you, you know, move one time, you kind of, you know, it's easier to move another time just because you, you kind of got a sense of what it's like and you know how to, you know how to do it. Is it scary seeing Braxton on the turf for that catch Saturday? Oh, definitely, definitely, you know. I didn't know what was going on. I thought, I thought something was worse than it was, but you know, gladly we got him back. What, what, did, he, what did he tell you? Yeah, what did he tell you? I mean, just got the wind knocked out of him, <clears throat> his back of his head. What, what did he, he just say? He just said he just you know hit his head and, and, and felt like he could, couldn't move at that time, and so he just laid there and made sure everything was all right, which he should have done. And I think I think everything is good. Yeah, yeah. did you yeah. take Damon Williams' number? <laughs> no, no. You I joke didn't. with him about it because he's like, I think he's number three now. Yeah, he's number three because uh, I don't know what happened, honestly. <laughs> Uh, Coach Smith changed me when you know he wasn't here with us, and uh, he, he's one of the backs up, backups on the punt return unit with me. Yeah. He's like one of the, uh, the gunner hold up, and they had to switch his number just in J case he got in. Jalen, with everything that's happened at the quarterback position last mm -hmm. week, kind of a question mark above it again. Now that you know JT's going to be the starter again this week, does mm -hmm. it feel like everything's just kind of – you guys have moved past what happened last week and are just back to normal now? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, people learn from mistakes, and, you know, you, you, you can fix a mistake, so that, that's the big uh, biggest thing about that. You know, we fix the mistake, move on, and look forward to this week coming up. Jim, what? But against Rutgers, second half against Penn State and stuff. What is different out there on the field when JT is running the show? I mean, there seems to be a rhythm to things. Uh, just for observing from the press box, but when you're out there on the field and stuff, what? Why does it? Why has it become more uh, uh, consistent? Or, more rhythmic, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That JT and Cardell, two both great players, you know, so that's hard yeah. to tell. I don't, I, I'm not really sure why the offense moves a different way when each of those guys are in there. You know, I just, you know, do my job and, and to the best of my ability and try to, you know, make plays for each of the quarterbacks that are in. So, 
you know, wh whichever quarterback goes in, I'll play my heart out for it. So I, I, I'm not really sure what, what makes that difference. But can you can you feel a defense so playing y'all differently when JT's in there from the standpoint of the running threat, the option threat? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's the obvious. You know, yeah. they're going to play different to a, you know, a better running quarterback just as if Braxton was playing. You know, so, you know, you have, always have to take that into perspective, you know, the different attributes that JT brings to the table. Speaking of Braxton, there was a lot of speculation last week that he'd be throwing the ball. And, right. Uh, what happened there? Was that a little bit of smoke screen, like uh, just <laughs> nah. having fun? You know, I think if, if Braxton was called to do that, he could. You know, he's clear to throw and everything like that. It, it can make it happen. You know, I just think that, you know, Coach Meyer wants to, you know, do everything we can to win. And, and Cardell was doing, you know, he's doing, doing his job out there, and we won the game. So I don't think he's going to throw any other smoke screens out there to you. <laughs> Did you expect him to throw more? Uh, Braxton? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I didn't really know what was going to happen. I mean, if he if he would have, you know, it would have happened, but I'm not sure. All right, thanks.